Yo, yo, Daily Fire, episode 206. If it's trash, turn it off. But if it has value, please share it out for me. Of course, it's brought to you by MaxEffortMuscle.com. For all your supplement needs, go to Max Effort Muscle. All right, Daily Fire, episode 206. This is something everybody can control. No one has control over this on you. It's your attitude. The attitude is solely on you. Now, can other people like impress upon you what their attitude is and they got a shitty attitude and they're negative and they're in that, they're fucking just in that negative kind of cycle? Of course. And if you're hanging around them all the time, they can pull at you. But the reality is you're the one that's actually in control of it. So if you're the person that walks in the room and you got that smile on, you're looking at glass half full, you're going to bring up the room, right? A lot of people will come in and bring down the room. And so if you really think about this, like even if you got shit going on and you're battling stuff, everybody is battling stuff. But if you like push forward with an attitude that's on the plus side of things, you push forward with an attitude that's glass half full, I'm telling you, life is just a little bit easier to live. Not easier, just more fun. More people want to be around you. Like develop an attractive personality. That's one of the things that Andrew Carnegie dropped in that book forever ago with Napoleon Hill. And I thought about that and I was like, if I want to be a real fucking winner, do you think motherfuckers want to be around people that are always negative and woe is me and I'm a motherfucking victim? Let me answer that question for you. They don't want to be around you at all. But if you're a motherfucking winner and you're working on developing these, these tendencies that are that are positive and bright and taking chances and pushing in life, motherfuckers want to gravitate around you because they know that you're going to fucking win and that you're going to have a fun time doing it. Now, not everything is rainbows and sunshine all the time, but I still think there's a percentage that you can look at things that way. And when the attitude is on you, I get up every day and I think, man, I, I feel blessed today to go out and do something I love. I feel blessed today that I can go and you know, maybe make an impact on people with content. I feel blessed today to get a chance and an opportunity to do something that I really want to do with my life. But it wasn't always like that. I had to do a bunch of dumb shit I didn't want to do to get to this point, but I still had an attitude because I had hope that if I took a positive attitude in those situations, that I'd get the opportunity to do this motherfucking thing right here. And so you got to look at it, even if you're in the trenches right now and you're not doing what you want to do, or you're not where you want to be, you still got to bring a positive attitude because what do you think that victim mentality is going to do for you? You think that's going to fucking help? Let me answer that for you. No. Do you think the motherfuckers want to gravitate and be around you? No, unless they want to be with the pity party with you, but motherfucker, no one is going to come save you. So why don't you try to flip that up a little bit and say, what are the things that I am positive about and I like in my life? Not, don't let me focus on the shit I don't like. Everyone has shit they can focus on that they don't like. That's real easy. I could find a gang of shit for you right now. Do you want to hear it? No. But what you want to hear is how can I get better? Well, I'm going to tell you this is step one. Develop an attractive personality. Work on yourself. Look at things half full instead of half empty and just fucking try it. Most people have already tried the other way. I'm going to challenge you to try it this way. Attitude is everything and it's on you. Episode 206. We out.